I was going there for one. It's Hobby Pro, whether it's a thousand in Long Ranch, New Jersey. As you can see, right behind me is the rough ocean of the Atlantic because of subtropical storm Melissa that's just off the coast of New Jersey. And you can see, um, you could probably see from from this view, the waves are huge right now. The winds are pretty strong. I'm measuring sustained winds right around 22 miles per hour at the max, and I've been seeing wingos even a little higher than that. And the winds are expected to increase by a little bit before um, nighttime comes, and we should see those winds and pop and uh, potentially those waves become bigger as we saw that and we're not even at high tide yet and based off of what i've been seeing by the sand marks it seemed like the water came almost up to this point and i'm gonna give you a better view of where uh, i am right now so pretty much i'm right by the boardwalk and then right behind me is the ocean which is still probably about um, 30 feet or so like 50 feet or so from the ocean and based off of what i've been seeing um the ocean came all the way up to here, which isn't very far from, you can see the boardwalk, which is just behind me. So we're definitely gonna experience beach erosion from this subtropical storm. Although a coastal flood warning is currently in effect for Long Ranch. However, um, I don't expect coastal flooding to necessarily affect this area because the water is still, even if it does go to coastal boardwalk, it's still ways away from over um, topping um, the sand dunes and going onto the boardwalk so I still think we will see people not necessarily in this region but in the rivers and in the bays around the city coastal flooding it could be a possibility and I've never seen them this big they're probably around 8 to 10 feet right now which is probably like 3 times above average um, for this beach and you have the ocean Right behind me, um, there's a wind meter. I can uh, show you what I'm measuring. You can see it's right around 16, 17. I've been measuring like up, upwards of 25 at some cases. So, yeah, the winds are pretty strong. They are as strong as I expected, um, which is definitely good news. I don't see much damage on the wind anywhere, um, and especially, and which is good news. And it's um, it's not um, a, a totally new thing for this area to experience 25 mile per hour wind so it isn't um, gonna bring major damage at all probably a couple minor damage but a little bit of minor damage but that's about it in terms of wind damage and as for the coastal and as for the wind, I would expect really close to running along the beaches but I definitely do expect it in maybe the rivers maybe the bays areas where they're more prone to coastal flooding as they definitely need to be in the lookout in those areas but as for the beach I do expect beach erosion so a lot of this beach you see right here could completely wash away by the time um, we hit tomorrow and, uh, and yeah that and also swimming conditions obviously are not ideal the waves are too big the rip currents are gonna be strong and um, it's way too dangerous to go in the water today. So just keep that in mind. So for the timing of this, subtropical storm Melissa. Subtropical storm Melissa will not only um, go further away from the New Jersey coast, but will weaken as um, it continues its check on to the east as um, it's gonna encounter less instability, less convection in that area. So it's definitely gonna be something to, um, which is definitely good news and I would say by um, late Friday night to Saturday morning you won't even um, notice that um, Melissa is here anymore which is definitely good news um, but as for today expect winds around 20 to 25 miles per hour sustained in this area uh, make sure to bring a lot of those loose items indoors if you live along the coast of New Jersey and even Long Island, even Massachusetts, um, those areas as well along the coast especially where the wind should be stronger and um, other than that expect beach erosion in those areas where you experience are prone to coastal flooding make sure to prepare in those areas and yeah that's about it um, nothing major but still something to keep in mind if you're along the coast but anyways guys I thank you guys for watching um, and make sure to subscribe if you like this and um, I might do a little bit more of um, in, in I might record a little bit more of this subtropical storm before um, I leave the beach today but anyways guys have a good day